Hello and welcome back to our channel Vehicle TV. Even though amphibious vehicles that can travel both on land and water seems like a far-fetched dream, they really do exist. In fact, this might surprise all of you to know that the first ever amphibious vehicle to exist was built in the year 1805. It was both conceived and built by an American citizen, Oliver Evans. Since then, amphibious vehicles have come a long way to become not only efficient but also affordable and available for the public use. Without further ado, let's kickstart this video with our first amphibious vehicle. Number 7. Gibbs Quadski The first one that we have for you is the Gibbs Quadski. It was first developed by a Detroit-based company. The transition of the road car into watercraft can be easily achieved in just 5 seconds. The installed engine is a BMW Motorhead's 1.3-liter engine and uses Gibbs high-speed amphibian technology HSA, which has over 300 patents in its name. The engine produces a power of 100 kilowatts, which is further shrunk to almost 80 kilowatts on land. The reason behind the dual function that make it possible to run both on land and water can be owed to its engine system. It consists of a four-stroke amphiquad that converts it from an ordinary car into a personal watercraft. It can cruise on the water for roughly about two hours and can operate at a speed of 72 kilometers an hour on both land and water. Launched in the year 2012, while going from land to water, the car wheels are retracted into the wheel wells within the body of the vehicle and further disengage the same from the drivetrain. This can be accomplished by the driver by simply pushing a button. Over a period of four years, between 2012 and 2016, a thousand of these sweet, luxurious toys were manufactured, post which production completely curtailed. Manufacturing of these cars has completely stopped for now. Number 6. The Amphi Car this one dates back almost five decades back in time. Initially launched in 1961, the Amphi car model 770 was marked longer than the previous one we talked about till 1968, the production of which stopped in 1985. Designed by Hans Triple and a descendant of the Volkswagen Schwimmwagen, the Amphi car had its engine mounted at the rear end of the car. This is the reason why the wheels at the back were run through a four-speed manual transmission. With the help of a pair of reversible propellers and a gear lever to engage forward or reverse drive, the car is transformed to its functional version in case of water. While floating or cruising on the water, the main gear levels it on neutral. After many trials and debate over which engine should be used in the prototype, the winner was 1147cc standard SC engine from the British Triumph Herald 1200. The Triumph engine was the ideal one for the car, which was based on a lot of variables that factored in such as weight, performance, cool running, and many more. This engine released a total power output of about 32 kilowatt. Someone rightfully described the car as it is neither a good boat nor a good car, but it does just fine. If you ever visit Orlando, Florida, do not forget to visit the Walt Disney's World Disney Springs since it lets you enjoy a comfortable ride in any one of the ride amphi cars of various original colors. Number 5. Gibbs Aquata well, this one is not that old or recent. Launched in the year 2004, Gibbs Aquata puts the previous two cars way behind with respect to the technology used and also the speed at which it runs in the land and water. Gibbs Aquata was developed by Gibbs Sports Amphibians and has the capacity to run at a top speed of over 160 km an hour on land and not more than 50 km per hour on water. A car that has over 60 patents to its name in the field of technical innovations, the Aquata was a limited production concept. The production of this car was for a very short while between 2003 and 2004. A predecessor to the Gibbs Quadski and Gibbs Humdinger, this one had a 2.5-liter Rover V6 engine and was conceptualized to the utmost detail to perform well on both land and water surfaces. Number 4. Rin Speed Splash one of the most successful concept car builders is the Swiss company called Rinspeed Inc. The company designs various exotic cars without entering into their production business. It was founded in 1979 by Frank M. Rinder Kench. One of the most beautiful concept car designs developed by Rinspeed Inc. is the Rinspeed Splash. This amphibian car vehicle comes with a hydrofoil design that helps its capacity to run at nearly 83 km an hour on water and not more than 200 km per hour on land. The the engine mounted is a 750cc two-cylinder turbocharged engine. When fueled by natural gas, this comparatively lightweight engine provides a power of nearly 104 kW that amounts to approximately 7,000 rotations per minute. Such a robust engine can convert the speedometer reading from 0 to 100 in just 5.9 seconds. 
If you are a car enthusiast, you are taken aback by a sense of deja vu. Let us help you locate your memory. It was featured in the Top Gear magazine. This amazing car was also premiered at the 2004 Geneva Motor Show. Number 3. Lamborghinis, Contagious and Fiborghini When we think about Lamborghini, we think of money. The exorbitantly expensive Lamborghini Countach recently came up with the only amphibian vehicle which is much more affordable and priced at not more than $27,000. Mike Ryan built the Amphiborghini, whose actual design name is Z1A. He's also the founder of England's Sea Rotor Amphibious Vehicles. He was also the person behind the screen who built all those amphibious project vehicles for BBC's Top Gear. The Amphiborghini was designed with some of the finest and most innovative engineering. It has a four-wheel pushrod coil-over suspension that is quite adjustable. Just like James Bond's Aston Martin, it too has a smokescreen button. Oh yes! Number 2. Gibbs Humdinger Gibbs Technology has designed yet another high-speed amphibious vehicle concept called the Gibbs Humdinger. Initially announced in the year 2012, it was designed for a very specific purpose, that is to access remote and difficult terrain. Gibbs Humdinger uses the HSA technology, similar to the Gibbs Aquata that we mentioned earlier. However, these vehicles are not open for buying by civilians. The vehicle transforms itself by simply pushing a button to travel from land to water. The wheels retract. What happens next is that the powertrain disconnects the wheels from driving and kickstart the jet propulsion system. The curb weight of this vehicle is approximately 3,000 kilograms. Number 1. Hydra Spider The Hydra Spider provides its riders with a unique experience to inhale the most pollution-free air around the water resources in which it is driven. Thanks to its amphibious boat's car open top feature, production of the Hydra Spider began in 2006. The Hydra Spider is both produced and marketed by Cool Amphibious Manufacturers International LLC. The vehicle can comfortably accommodate four people. Additionally, it has a robust engine that has a power of 500 kilowatt. The standard model of the Hydra Spider engine makes it strong enough to pull water skiers. There is an instant switching to a different engine system and simultaneously, the wheels getting tucked inside the car, the car is now watercraft and ready to power it through the water. A 3,300-pound heavy vehicle, it gives a mileage of 16 to 18 miles per gallon and can easily be equipped to burn an ethanol mix in lieu of gasoline. One of the most notable and persistent competitors is the Gibbs Aquata that we have already talked about. With this, we have come to the end of today's video and we hope you had a wonderful time with us today on Vehicle TV. Which was your favorite vehicle on the list? Comment below if you enjoyed our content. To drop this video a like and subscribe to our channel while you are at it. Turn on the post notifications by tapping the bell icon below. Stay tuned. Goodbye.